Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the game options string. This variable right here is the game option string. Now I know it just says option string, however, it's part of the game mode and it's generally referred to as the game option string. Now what this does is when you open a level, either from the command prompt, such as starting up the project from your desktop, or testing out the U project file, maybe for development purposes, or if you simply open the level inside the engine, you have the ability to pass in options. And we can see that here. Here's my open level. Here's my level name that I'm opening up. And then we have the option string. And inside of that, I can pass, well, strings. I can pass key values. Keys and values, two different strings connected together that we could then parse or do something with when we load the map. Now, if we run this example and I, well, wasn't meant to load it. If we run this example and hit print option string, nothing prints out. By default, when you're running in the editor, you're not passing any options to the map when you load it. I'll click load map, and now we'll hit print option string, and we get question mark foo equals bar, and question mark taco equals bell. These are the options that I've passed in, a key, which is before the equal sign, and a value, which is after. Once these are passed in, you can do whatever you'd like with them. And as you can see here, we have four different nodes we can work with. We can get the int option, the key value pair. We can check to see if it actually has an option, and then we can parse the option to get the value out of it. Those are covered in separate videos. Now you might be asking, well, what is this good for? It's useful if you want to pass in temporary data into a new map or upon startup to maybe trigger something. As an example, here is the project compiled out. And here's a shortcut. Let me go ahead and edit the properties. And you'll notice at the end of this, I'm opening up my map and I have question mark cheat. I'm passing in a key of cheat. If we remove that and we start up our example, it's going to load up my example map and nothing's going to happen. Print the option string. We get name equals player. We started from the command line. So it, this is what was passed in. Load the map. Print the options again. We get blah. I built it out. I just have a key of blah. Nothing special happens. We'll edit this again. We'll add in the question mark cheat. And this is going to basically check upon startup if I have that key passed in. And now you can see cheat's enabled. So it's a nice way to add in some functionality that you can check and you can trigger based on the starting. And all I did there, if I can figure out where I went to, was simply check, get the game mode, get the option string, check to see if I have an option called cheat, and if so, enable my cheats. That's it. It's a small, easy little option you can use the open level or the command prompt to pass in a string that can then be parsed and it's stored in the option string variable again refer to the other videos to see how the other nodes work so we can work with this option string 